Well, Patrick CC will have to forgive me for doing this because I'm about to reveal his secret effect that has helped him hook millions of viewers and I'm gonna give it out for free. These artists' careers were never the same after one incident. Ball player, actor, doctor, investor, DJ, police officer? So inside Photoshop, I'm gonna create a solid color layer and make it gray. Then I'm gonna head to the top bar, click on filter, look for the noise and select add noise. To make sure that the noise is monochromatic, I'm gonna check this box and move the noise slider to around 5.35 then hit ok. So now I'm gonna select the shape tool and draw a rectangle here. Then make the corners rounded by dragging these points inwards. Now for the color, I'm gonna look for a pastel color to use for this. But let's extend these corners this side a little bit and I think that's okay. Now let's add some text here and increase them a bit then put them in the center. But let's change the color to something like this. Okay now let's add the text but I like it in the center. So I will align it like this. But this rectangle can use some shadows so I'm probably gonna add one. Now let me turn it into a smart object and add some noise to it as well. And I'm gonna name these layers and group these two so that we can stay organized. And also gonna name this layer group probably one. Now I'm gonna duplicate these groups nine times to add more words. But I'm gonna rename all of them as well. Now let's fill in the different words. Now here I'm gonna turn all these groups into smart objects. And I guess that's it for this. Let's set the PSD in our assets folder. Now for the next asset, I'm gonna create a 10 pointed star. You'll later understand why we needed it. So I'm gonna head to the shape tool and find the polygon tool. But then you're gonna have to enter these settings. But make sure symmetric is selected. The ratio or the star ratio is 25% and from the center is checked. Then I'll create the star, but it should be in the middle. Let me hide the background real quick and let's make the star white. And I guess that's it for this. Let me save it in our assets folder as well as PNG. Now let's get to the good stuff. So inside After Effects, let's open a new composition, preset 1920 by 1080, 60 frames per second and 30 seconds. Then let's name this comp main and hit OK. Now I'm going to go to File and import our assets. Now before clicking OK, make sure under layer options you have selected editable layer styles and on the import kind you have selected composition retain layer sizes then hit OK. Now let's go to the project panel and open this folder. I'm going to select all these layers and then drag and drop them into our new composition. Now our layers are 4K so I'm going to highlight all of them, hit S then scale them down to 50%. Alright now let's turn them into 3D objects by clicking this cube on all the layers except for the background because we don't need it 3D. Perhaps we could even lock it. So now I'm gonna go back to file and import the star and then you will see why we needed it. So let me drop it into our comp and scale it down to then turn it into 3D object as well. Now for the star I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees on its Y axis then open a second view. So, uh, but I'm gonna set it to left or right, but for this I'm gonna use left. Here I'm gonna add some grid lines to help me place the layers and now I'm gonna place all the 10 layers anchor point on the 10 points of the stars. Since all the anchor points are in the center of the layer. So after that, let's go to layer, new and create a null object. And this is gonna be named rotator and make it a 3D object as well. Now I'm gonna highlight all the layers except for the background and parent them to this now object or the one we've called rotator. But now when I try to rotate the X axis or our now object, the layers don't stay upright. And we don't like that, do we? So to fix that, I'm gonna go to our rotator and add a slider control effect. By the way, this tool I'm using is a free tool from Video Copilot. It's called FX Console. You should definitely get it. Okay, now I will select one of the layers, hit R to reveal the rotation axis. And for this case, X rotation is what we need. Now I'm gonna tap on our rotator or nail object. Then I'll pick whip the X rotation to the slider control to generate an expression. Now as 
the rotator rotates, in order to keep the layers upright, they will need to rotate at the same rate, but in the opposite direction. So to achieve that, this expression must become negative. So I'm going to put a zero here, minus in two brackets, then place my expression inside that bracket. Because when you subtract a bigger number from a smaller one, the answer will always be a negative. Then I'm going to copy this expression and alt click on all the X rotation stopwatch for all the layers and paste it over there. Alright, after that, let me expand our null object or rotator and then pick whip the slider control under here to the X rotation of this rotator or this null object. For this, I'm going to leave it positive. So let's try testing it. Let's create a keyframe here and test it. Okay, as you can see, we were successful. But now I can spice it even more with a camera depth of field. So I'm going to go to layer and add a new camera. It's going to be a 24 millimeters and then hit OK. So now I'm going to expand the camera options, turn on depth of field, increase the aperture and then focus distance. And I guess that's pretty much it. OK, if this video was helpful, share with your friends, like and comment what you'd like to see next. Otherwise, have yourself a nice day.